and make something. Okay, I thought I'd give you another quick tutorial tip with Corel Draw. This one's more if you're wanting to make a flyer or brochure for your business side of your workshop. So, say you wanted to put a photo or a bitmap image inside an object shape, like a square, circle, or even text. Um, this is pretty easy to do in Corel Draw. So, the first thing we need to do is start a new file. So, we can either click the new icon, or we can control N, or file new. Now, the default settings is pretty much usually okay. I'll just call this one example. The main thing to watch out for is the primary color mode. Um, if you're wanting to print this at home on your home laser printer or inkjet printer, then RGB is probably going to be okay. Um, if you're going to be taking your this file to a commercial printer, then 90% of the time, 95% of the time, they'll be wanting it in CMYK. Now RGB, red, green, blue, is basically what the, your monitor or your screen uses and sees, whereas CMYK, which is a cyan, magenta, yellow and black, is basically what your printer uses. So they're, they're, they're two different uh, primary color modes, and they are slightly different, and they do have a bit of a mix-up. So it's just something to be aware of, but not overly important. Usually your, your commercial printer can handle converting it and everything. Um, the color settings, description, you don't really need to worry about. So let's click OK. Now, say you wanted to make a brochure and your logo has a bitmap of a saw blade which is part of your logo. Now this is one I've just stolen off the interweb. Um, it's going to need a little bit of a tidy up but we can actually put an image inside that. Now I did a tutorial before on how to use, use the trace tool so I'm not going to really cover that today but I'll put a link in the description to where it is. So if I just trace quickly trace that. Right. Then I've got to just tidy up the center of it there just a little bit. That's probably close enough for us. Right, all I'm going to do now is give this an outline. And I'll put it in a red so that we can see what we're doing. And just right click on the color. Make sure your object is selected. Right click on the color you want. And you'll see it's got an outline. And we'll just remove the inner color. So we've now got an outline of it. So. Now I want to put that image inside it. So if I go File, Import, picture of the flag, just click anywhere outside your image. Just make sure it is selected and click Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame and you'll see that the cursor changes to an arrow. Now just click somewhere inside where you want to place it. Now we can edit how we move the image inside your object. So if we just right click again and edit power clip you'll see an outline of our saw blade so we can now shrink down our flag so we've got a little bit more of the stars in there something like that. So we're going to have Bit of the stars there, that star's gonna be missing. Yeah, so that'd be, yeah, be ship your right. Let's see what it looks like. Looks okay. Now we can go one step further. This is just an extra tip. Using your drop shadow tool. Okay, make sure it's uh, selected, your object is selected. Click drop shadow. Just click on the image. 
and place your drop shadow from where you wish it to come from. Now if you've got a light source coming from over here, you'll be wanting it to be up there, but if you want the light source from behind, on there from behind, it's coming out a little bit. A little bit darker, there we go. We've got a nice drop shadow behind it. Now I can do the same thing for text. So I'll put the word welcome. Now we want that obviously to be a nice bold um, news impact. Just enlarge it. Probably enlarge it a little bit more just to be. And file import. Same image because that's all I've got there. <laughs> just click outside it. Make sure that that image is selected. Object power clip place inside. And then just click inside your text. And there we have it. Now I should still be able to edit that text. Um, I should be able to go to my humble bode. And I should actually be able to now change the font onto Arial um, 85 maybe. Bold. No, smaller, 80, 80, even smaller, okay, 70, too small, we'll go 75, perfect, and that should also have the picture of the flag, you can see the stars coming through there as well, so that's how it's done, it's, it's very simple, um, if you've got any questions, um, how to do this, put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Google+, Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter. Catch you next time. Don't forget to go and make something.